My name is Annabella Espana Nahra, and I'm an assistant professor in the Department of Chicano and Latin American Studies. Um, and I implemented the affordable learning solutions in my um, Latin American Studies class, which is our CLES 170 and covers Latin American history, um, basically from the conquest all the way to the 20th century. Um, and I also um, implemented it in Chicano and Latin American Studies critical thinking, um, which is our one of our lower division GE classes. I used um, a textbook from my 170, the Latin American Studies class, and appears from my writing lab. Um, and so the fact that students can get it bundled and save a little bit of money, I think it's a good option for them. But I also let them buy an older edition in case they, because sometimes you can buy it cheaper uh, if you buy it unbundled and then just buy the license separately. Um, so I think students appreciate having choices uh, so that they can try to save money. Um, but I think you have to make it um, really clear what those choices are because if not, they can also get a little bit confused. It's, you know, textbooks have increasingly been getting more expensive for students. Um, and I know that our student population in particular, that a lot of them work and um, get into debt for their university degree. And so I think it's important for us to try to take that into account when we're making choices. And of course, you have to kind of balance that with the quality of the information that you're giving them as well. Um, so I try to kind of reach a balance between those things, kind of keep the cost in mind. Uh, but I don't want to also sacrifice like the learning that they're that they're getting because if not, then what's the point of going through the whole process for them? Um, so that's kind of why I think it's it's important to kind of try to think about those things. And a lot of the things you know I think are small things that we can do, um, like getting our orders in on time and things like that, which you know we talked about in the in the uh, faculty learning community. And a lot of them are really obvious and we sort of know about it. But it's a, you know, when somebody tells it to you and the impact that it has, I think it's really it can be really positive. I am an affordable learning solutions faculty. I had already started thinking about you know, how to try to uh, include other types of texts and not rely only on textbooks um, and how to use like older editions. So it wasn't something too radical for me. I don't think it requires a big cost for us in terms of like how much time you have to put into this because I know we're all stretched thin in terms of how much we have to do and research and teaching. Um, but I think that these are small things that we can do that don't take a lot for us and can be a big help for students. So I think it's worth um, doing the faculty learning community and kind of just learning about some of the small changes that we can make in our class that are kind of um, not very difficult to make. And I think have a really good positive impact.